Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Darksiders. We're back to it again. We just opened, or actually released the gate from its chains, and now we're going to go to the next area of this the game. The one just before Twilight Cathedral. Let's see. There's nothing in here that I can grab yet. I have, have to be always sure because I can forget and I can overlook things. I can almost it in the, the other cave. Wait. There we go. Shadow flight. Perfect. Over there we need to get the tremor get away oh the tremor gauntlet, we don't have that yet. But oh well. Let's go and cross this. We <laughs> Come over here. It's good. It was a good bad. Good bad isn't that bad. <laughs> Good bad isn't that bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, this is such. A... Oh, let's kill. Let's kill and kill. Let's slice them all in half. And the last four to go. Or is it three? There we go. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Oh, wait, there are more? I thought it were only two rounds. And there we go, last of them. Okay, something is wrong. No, I don't want to save. No, I have. I don't know why am I not. Okay, this is weird. For some reason, I can't. I don't. Have, I don't have sound for my dash. I have everything else, but the dash is silent. The broken stairs. How many you, bo you bastards? Come over here, you bots. Oh, this is a little too easy. Okay, let's see. Still, it's still making the sound, so... Wait. I hear... I heard that. No, do I just you guys? I thought... If I hear the summoning sound, I, wo I won't think it would be you guys. Down here, there's an collectible for us to get. We know, we know. I hear something. I hear something crawling around. Again, something is spawning and I don't know where it is. Well, 
let's just get down here first because Einer Füllgrim is here. And you. And you. And let's get his chest. There should be also something over here. And come up. There we go. Oh, life shard. Lifestone shard. Thank you. And dive underneath it. Oh, those are the, 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 the chains of program. Uh, oh well. Another location added. Another thousand. I can go for Wrath Shard and Wrath Shard. Let me know if I can help An you. An empty vessel is kind of useful, to be honest. <sighs> nice sword. Yeah, thanks, Fulgrim. I'm kind of, kind of wondering, what the hell would I? Please take your time. Uh, stop speaking at such regular in intervals. Okay, I'm you are as wise as you are powerful. Okay, I'm going to buy e at least a, a text that. An excellent oh. choice. I need to get Reaper's Revenge because then I can level up these things that I have. Uh, let's greetings. see. Yeah, greetings. Actually, wait, what greetings? We are going away, bastards. There should be somebody up here. How much health do you have? Or how much souls do you give? Eh, not much, I see. Alright, let's go up. Ah, a chest. Uh -huh. And you die. And you too. Good job. I give you a star for it. There we go. I will go down real quick to get that item. Or to get that ability. Mm. And that should do it for now. I think there, were, there are only four levels of each uh, s attack and special ability, like Stone Skin and Blade Geyser. So. So, these we have to upgrade. You are as wise as you so, are there we powerful. Go. Who knows? If I in the in the future I have enough uh, souls, I will might I might want to switch to the to the harvester just because. Okay, now it's going to come and uh, and be fun, I would say, because we're going to have a fun section ahead of us. Once we get on the bridge over there. We're going to have to go over these platforms, but at the end of this whole section, there is a kind of mini boss that we have to fight, which I'm not quite fond of because not such a fond memory of fighting it. Jesus Christ, I'm not trying to do that. Oh no, you don't. Give me back my health. Get me back my health, you bastards. 
give me what you stole from me. Cut! Get! I don't have anything left. Oh yeah, I give one hint. To get this fight a little bit over quicker, get rid of all these cars. Get all these cars out of the way. I said out of the way because the monster will actually, the demon, will actually grab those cars and just play around with them for just a bit and, as, and it will take a little bit of time for, before he gets to your platform because those geysers will just disappear when he comes near you so let's, just, let's get rid of any hindrance that he might have because our doom will be inevitable we oh oh no and these even these guys have stronger variants of themselves oh I'm, I'm not looking for I, I don't want to fight him He's now just coming directly towards us. And... I'm already going to lose. Yep! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh! Jesus Christ! Christ. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty easy to be honest, but I don't know how I did it the first time, but I was quite afraid because I died multiple times against him. It seems that after playing it at least once, I know how to go through it. And like you see, Blade Geyser is your best friend. So, upgrade that shit. Over there you see a glowing orange item, or yellow item. That item will be will be a piece of the Armageddon Blade that we will get at the end game. So, no, don't have to worry about it yet. We will get that pretty soon. Get the key for this thing. We have to go all the way down first. I'm going inside these rooms. Just. Oh, what? Hello. Bye. There we go. There's a chest. A little bit more souls. Come and get me, come and get me, come and get me, come and get me. Oh yeah, oh yeah, boy! And there where you have the key. The Beholder's Key, an ornate key with a symbol of an eye engraved into it, unlocks a nearby barrier. Just to be sure that, there's, that I'm missing nothing. Because there might be some things that I might miss, but that may be because I forgot about them, or those items I have to come back and leave for. So, if there are something like the Armageddon blade piece over there, I have to come back for it later because I don't have the requirements. The required items for it. Okay, for the people who are going for the achievements, I suggest if you're playing this, play it first of all on easy, but save over here. 
Why? Because now there's this is the one and only flying section of the game. And yeah. You have to get I think a certain amount of kills, 400 or something like that, during this section to get the achievement. So play this on easy to get uh, the fastest kills. But yeah, just play it on easy. You can do it on apocalyptic. <laughs> apocalyptic because I did the same thing. On apocalyptic on the first edition, this and this war mass edition did not easy just because it was kind of annoying to do. Save here and redo it every time if you don't get the achievement. And eventually you should be able to get it. Oh, oops, I just pressed. Okay, sorry guys that I missed you guys in the cutscene. But I think I by accident pressed A. Yes, I have, since I've done this achievement hunting for this part so much, I think I have. I'm kind of tired of seeing this cutscene myself. Druid might be quite a while ago since we I did it. Yield. But I don't pretty much care. I will try to not press A on all the other cutscenes. It became a habit, I think, with this one. <laughs> But yeah, like I do, like you see, what I do is keep the press the the, the the shoot button pressed and wait until it targets everything that you can target and keep targeting it and targeting it. This one, I think, you have to go and shoot rapid succession to kill it much quicker because you can hold down your shot and then kill it. It won't do much. And I suggest with those quote unquote guardians, I think. Or actually, I call them Arch. Defensor guardians. Devar De <laughs> Defensive angels. Just shoot, shoot, shoot. Instead of holding down the button and, and uh, powering up your shot. There isn't checkpoint, so you don't have to worry if you if you fill this at the at this section. Oh, there's more. There goes the shield. Oh, oh yeah, those are the, the, the. there are two ones that are shooting and the ones that are guarding. Oh crap! Uh, And I died. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, I completely fell out to fight these guys myself, like I just said. But these orbs that they shoot, those you have to, to hold down your button. Jesus Christ. And then just quickly rapid succession in the fucking face. Get away, you bastards. And I don't have to go for the achievement anymore. I don't I won't go and kill as much as I can. I can do that for some souls. And I, I cannot think about souls without thinking about Dark Souls and the Souls franchise in general. Now comes the second checkpoint. I think we will see the icon appear any time. Oh wait, it's not. He it might not be here, but a little later. Uh, I think I've, I completely screwed that one up. No, this one. There's nothing. Uh, it's a little bit later at the lava lake. There will, will be a next checkpoint. I'm just going for to get some souls. I want to get some items. I 
think over here. Yeah, that 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 thing we have to fight later in this in this cave. I think you can damage it now, just. Die, you birds! Die, you firing birds! <laughs> Some more of you, eh? Yeah, these these smaller bats, you, those are the the guys you have to fight to get the achievement. And watch out for those... Jesus Christ, I completely forgot about those uh, spikes coming out of the ground. Okay, here's the checkpoint. There we go. You have to keep constantly moving around this boss, or mini boss. He will shoot where you're going, so wait. You can wait until the very end, but keep moving. I don't know how he didn't, how he missed me. Oh, he even goes to this point. Yeah, I always killed him a little bit earlier than this. So it's pretty funny to see that he still will fly around and, and chase after you. But we're almost done with this section. Ow. From the back of us? From behind? I don't know, from the front first? I know, from the back. Still slightly remember what the hell is going on. Okay, these uh, fire bats will be an annoyance at this point. They they can be a downfall if you don't watch out. They have been for me multiple times when I first started this uh, trial. But that was only because I don't know, didn't know how to to still fly. Like I said in the very first episode, I am not good at this flying section. For some reason, only my the babies, the person that we had the babysit for, was able to, to complete this section. Okay, then that should be it. We're in Twilight Cathedral. And I see Tiamat just flying around. Twilight Cathedral. Tiamat, I assume? Guess she wasn't up for having visitors today. Over in, I think over there, I, can, I think you can see it. That area, that cave over there, there's another X section that you will fight Mr. K. There's another section, the, th the third and last section that you will, or can fight Mr. K. In. It's pretty close by, in the next area that we go to, to get to the Cleaver. So, yeah, if we, if we go past that area and actually go back to explore that uh, place that we cannot actually visit the first time around, we can fight Mr. K over there. So, come, come, oh, down here, you bastard. And you. Just take a look. 
we need to get the abyssal chain to get uh, through here, but we have to go to the section of Silatha to get that. We get our time stop ability from going to the to the what was it the station, so and we get the tremor gauntlet. No, it's not the tremor gauntlet that I need. There's, there's a weapon that they can use a weapon, an ability. What do I need for this? What do I need for this? I think it's just the, the, the gauntlet that, that I just need. And I might mix it up with an ability that I will get. What? How would you ask of this humble merchant? No, I want to know if you get some good See stuff. Anything you like. Oh, I could get stone skin. I and mean, that could be pretty useful. It's tempting. I'm also tempting to buy any of these things. I want to buy at least something to level 4 at least once. Only alive, man. Oh, don't forget over here. Let me know if I can help you. You are as wise as you Alright, I will powerful. upgrade this sword uppercut first. And while I have enough souls, I will go for the stone skin. Because I think, since I'm still not pretty fond of the Tiamat boss fight myself, since I'm still not possibly good at it. I think I might just want to get stone skin to get at least a mitigating damage output from her, so I think I'm going to end it here. It might be a shorter episode than usual, but the area that we went through, actually the area that we went through, was pretty short in general. Uh, there was more to explore in the previous one. But we going through Twilight Cathedral, I think two to three episodes we'll go through this one. So, hope you enjoyed like always, and don't forget to get your game on.